Your move melts. You're on your own. Looks like you're a couple cameras short here, Big G. Where's the equipment? The equipment isn't coming. Why is that? There's a soccer game. You need it. Who the hell are you? Who the hell is this? We had a deal, right? We had an agreement? Where are the cameras, Big G? The camera closet's locked. And only I have the key. You're dealing with me now. Why don't you just cut to the chase and tell us what you want? That equipment's worth more in my hands than in yours. Or any other teachers for that matter. But I need a crew. <laughs> a crew? That's right. So if you agree to give up your side projects and help me make season 10 of Wake Up Wildwick, I will teach you the ins and outs of producing a video. Maybe even give you a good grade for it. Good grade? Big G, this is a joke. You didn't realize we work hard to build this team. You didn't realize we make our own videos, right? Big G and Ben have already told me about your videos. They're mediocre at best. And you already used my equipment. And you ate my videos at every turn. Now's your opportunity to use my equipment, join Wake Up Walls. Don't waste your time on people who have no talent. So you say, but then why would you need us? Now you listen to me. You've got two of the greatest video producers in Walls right here. And working with them, you will be able to make videos you haven't even dreamed of. Who the hell are you? You all know exactly who I am. Say my name. Do what? I don't have a damn clue who you are. I'm the film teacher. The one who built Wake Up Waldwick. The next. You sure? That's right. Say my name. I'm Mr. Meltzer. You're goddamn right. Hello everybody, welcome back to Wake Up Waldwick. I'm Brendan Post, your host, with my bro host Harry Durant. What's up guys? We've got a very nice video for you today. As you may know from last week, it is Kindness Month. A great month filled with acts of kindness. Also, today is High Five Friday. Bro host B Post, you, uh, you went out into the field for High Five Friday, Now I didn't did, you? I did. Let's go wow. see. Now, on this beautiful High Five Friday, we have somebody to thank. Glenn Burke of the 1977 Los Angeles Dodgers, who was very excited when Dusty Baker hit a home run. He, he just outstretched his hand, and then Dusty Baker touched it, and they called it a high five because of the five fingers on our hands. And it was crazy. It was crazy. So we have to thank Glenn Burke. <laughs> Now that was crazy. In other news, the boys soccer team won 2019 Group 1, Group 2 Team of the Year. Attaboy Ari. Attaboy. You know who deserves an attaboy? Lucas Ruleman. He does. He won, he won some award and that's, that's very cool. But that's enough with fall sports. What about winter sports? Winter sports, that is true. Us Waldwick Warriors are getting ready to start our winter sports seasons. You know, basketball. Shrek! Wrestling! <laughs> All great things, you know. Cheerleading. Cheerleading. Cheerleading! Very fun. We're all excited to go and watch our teams. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm also very excited for the MLB hot stove. You know, the Yankees have flexed their cash, shoveling down $324 million into Garrett Cole's pockets. That is a lot of money. But the real move of this offseason was the New York Mets selling the team. That's right, they did it, they did it. Let's go! Nice. In today's episode, we have what you've obviously all been waiting for, the Spikeball Tournament. 
it was crazy. It was hype. We've also got a Friday the 13th special. Yeah, because it's Friday the 13th. It's spooky. Stay, stay, stay aware and stay classy, Waldwick. 17 teams, 34 guys, one throne. Fit for two guys. Who will prevail? Who will go home because it takes too long? Who will miss supper? We woke up at uh, 4 a.m. and we just went straight to the gym. We started working out and then we went outside and we practiced. We practiced for like five hours just playing spike ball. It was awesome. And anyone in a costume is more likely to win. I'm just telling that, I'm saying that now. If they're dressed up, they're in it to win it. Um, we went through rigorous training. We wake up, we uh, woke up 3 a.m., had these boys eating egg yolks in a blender. You know, we were just grinding all day, all night, ready for this. To be honest, I didn't really prepare at all. Uh, I don't know about you, Quinn. I mean, I played a game or two. There it is. So we didn't prepare. My last partner kind of left me, and I asked him last minute, and he said, sure. Yeah. We're going to do great. We're, we're winning it all. I'm rooting for Dominic or Post and whoever Post is going with. Zach, what, what, what about you? Um, I'll have to agree with uh, Dominic. They seem like a very, very solid team. Yeah. They got some good flow. Definitely. Yeah. I mean, we have, we have great team chemistry, and uh, we just know how to win, so we're going to continue to do that. Uh, we're rooting for Brendan to win. Yeah, go be post. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> That's good. We want to win the whole thing. Yeah. I think it's going great. I think everybody's having a lot of fun. They came out to support a good cause for the Thanksgiving food drive. Um, Brendan Post has done a great job running the uh, running the event. <laughs> uh, Owen and Rocco. Uh, the black team. Uh, you're actually playing us next. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah then they're oh. rival. Yeah, never mind. Maybe them then. <laughs> Phil and Cameron, definitely. I'd say our biggest rival right now is probably. Nate and Billy, just because we played them so often. Uh, the Chunky Monkeys. Yeah, ver Chunky Monkeys versus uh, Funky Monkeys, that's a pretty big rivalry right now. Uh, our rivals in this tournament are probably going to be Harry and uh, Hermes. We, they're in our gym class, we play them all the time. We do lose all the time, but I don't know what, something about tonight, man. We have that heart, you feel that too? Yeah, I feel it, I feel it. Alright, let's get it. Woo! I think the tournament's going really good this year. It's our first year doing it, and everyone seems to be really into it with all the teams that we have. Yeah, we're gonna win the championship now. Who's messing around? I don't know. How does it feel to be the first annual Spikeball Tournament champions? Uh, it feels pretty good. I feel honored. Um, took a lot of hard work and uh, actually not really. It was like five minutes, but it just feels good.
Do you remember the list? Here it is. Did you know that the Cold War started on Friday the 13th? Or that Tupac died on Friday the 13th? Or that the Germans bombed Buckingham Palace? Or that even Jesus died on Friday the 13th? We're gonna go find out what the people of Waldwick do. What about Friday the 13th is unlucky? I actually don't know that story. Like, why is it? Just something about Jesus in the Last Supper. Ooh. I'm with Justin Poole. Justin, do you know why Friday the 13th is an unlucky day? Or why just 13 is an unlucky number? Well, I was born on the 13th, so I do not believe it is a unlucky day. It is the luckiest day. That is my belief. I disagree with you because my project for this class is about why it's an unlucky day. Okay, well, your opinion is wrong. Prime numbers are the edgiest. Hermes, are you scared? Hermes, are you scared? I don't think he's scared. Hi, Mom. Do you know why? Do you know why Friday the Thirteenth is unlucky? I don't know specifically, but my guess is that something historically happened on that day that was probably very negative, because that's usually why we have these superstitions. But that's the truth. Like, you know, like the Val the Valentine's Day massacre was on Valentine's Day. Like, there's certain things that happen on certain um, days that okay go down in infamy. Infamy. True. I scared you all. Let's ask Ivana a question. Do you know why Friday the 13th is such an unlucky day? Um, because of the movie? With Jason and Freddy Krueger? Close enough. Boo! Jesus <laughs> Miss Pastori, are you superstitious of Friday the 13th? No, I am not. Um, in fact, I've heard that Italians think that Friday the 13th is like a good luck day to get married on. I didn't, but I hear it's a good day. Thanks, Miss Pastori. Mr. N, do you think Friday the 13th is an unlucky day? Personally, I don't believe in that kind of stuff, so it doesn't really affect me, but I can see how in my family, my grandmother thought 13 was pretty unlucky, and uh, I know it had something to do with Judas and the biblical story and, and stay away from 13, but me personally, no. Thanks, Mr. N. Guys, Lou for Wake Up Waldwick here. Did you know that... Did you know that Friday the 13th started with the Last Supper and Jesus was the 13th member and then on Friday the 13th he was crucified? Did you know that? Christmas is on a Friday. What if it's the 13th? Okay, but Christmas is... <laughs> Christmas is always on the 25th. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Today, we taught Waldwick about Friday the 13th. My job's done. <laughs>